In this next example, we will be finding the square root of 150. In order to find the square root of 150, we first need to review an important math rule, which is the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. This means that if we have two numbers multiplied by each other inside of a square root, we can then break up that square root into two square roots with multiplication in the middle. In order to apply this to the square root of 150, we first need to think of all of the factors of 150. For this example, I'm choosing 25 and 6 because 25 is a perfect square. It's important to choose a perfect square because this will help us simplify in the future. Now we want to find the square root of 150. So let's rewrite the square root of 150 as the square root of 25 times 6. We can then apply our math rule to write the square root of 25 times the square root of 6. Because 5 times 5 equals 25, we can rewrite the square root of 25 as just 5. And therefore, the square root of 150 is equal to 5 times the square root of 6, which is our simplified version. If we want to estimate the square root of 150 to the nearest whole number, we can use perfect squares near 150. If we look at 12 squared, we get 144. If we look at 13 squared, we get 169. Because 150 is between 144 and 169, we can write the following inequality. The square root of 144 is less than the square root of 150, which is less than the square root of 169. Because 12 squared is 144, we can rewrite the square root of 144 as 12. Similarly, because 13 squared is 169, we can rewrite the square root of 169 as 13. Now you can see that the square root of 150 lies between 12 and 13. In order to find the value that the square root of 150 is closest to, we can use the difference between 150 and our perfect squares. So we will do 150 minus 144 to give us 6, and then 169 minus 150 to give us 19. As you can see, 6 is less than 19, so 150 is closer to 144 than it is to 169. This leads us to the conclusion that 12 is closer to the square root of 150. Therefore, we can approximate the square root of 150 as about 12.